This year, after almost three years of running my life from an iPad, I took the plunge and moved to the 14-inch MacBook Pro with that Max chip to get that powerful multi-display workflow at home whilst also keeping things a little portable. So what happens now to that iPad? Well, combine it with these accessories and ideas and it could be the missing piece in the puzzle to taking your full desktop with you. A super portable dual screen HDR desk setup is possible that you can just put in your backpack. And that's even before we talk about Apple's new universal control, which is very cool. Hi everyone, it's Simon. Welcome or welcome back to Better Creating, where I'm collecting ideas, tools, and tech to simplify productivity and creative life. Today, building truly portable desk setups. Maybe we really can now have the best of both worlds, a one cable connection desktop alternative and a no cable productivity powerhouse on the road, three screen working in a Barcelona hotel room. Yes, please. I've linked all of the kit mentioned in the description below if you wanna check it out. Let's talk about iPad, sidecar, and universal control. As you likely already know, it's super easy to add a display to your MacBook using an iPad and sidecar, but I think this feature is underrated. It means that today you can have an XDR quality dual monitor setup to fit in your bag. And yes, there is clearly a powerful argument, guys, I know, to say that the new generation iPad Pros and M1 iPads are very high powered and very expensive bits of kit just to use as a monitor. But the workflow options they offer for creatives and professionals on the go are pretty amazing. What makes this such an interesting option is that let's say you bought a base model M1 iPad with the XDR display for about this amount. That's two XDR monitors paired with one of the new MacBooks a huge amount of dual screen portable real estate, plus you'll be adding touch functionality to the apps of your choice and any creative work or note taking that you're doing. What's more, this becomes a wireless display, so I can use it to present to clients in meetings, or if I want to, I can just pick up the iPad, sit on the bed, and keep working on my computer with the Apple Pencil. Pretty cool, right? I've actually edited this video on this setup in my hotel room this week, and using Final Cut Pro across these screens is so much more usable than just the 14 inch. I've noticed with Sidecar that the quality is much improved in terms of color when using a cable rather than the wireless connection, it's good to note, but it's almost identical in color when you do that, which is pretty amazing. On the wireless connection, there's little to no latency in terms of use, and I was really happy using this at home instead of that monitor back there before I got that uh, as a two screen setup. So as a mobile rig, the iPad Pro is a more attractive option to consider as a second monitor than you first think, but we can go one better. Apple's universal control is here, finally, and it looks amazing. Okay, it's in beta, public beta, for testing, and since I only have one computer, I'll wait for the full release of the OS before I try it. But oh my, early testing from YouTube friends with more than one Mac, looks ridiculously good. Check out This Is E's channel for more on it. Shout out to you, E. I really love your content. Now, if you've not heard about Apple's universal control, it basically means that without any additional software, you can seamlessly move one cursor between your iPad's iOS and the MacBook's OS seamlessly. You can drag files directly between devices across the screens without any problem and basically control either device from the other. Wow. So for me, as someone who still edits images and graphics on my iPad and then edits videos and programs Notion templates on my MacBook, my workflow just got super simple. Make sure to subscribe for more on this in the future. And while you do, just drag that cursor over to the thumb shape button down the bottom. You know the drill. It makes all the difference. Unbelievable. What if we could take this to a three screen setup? Where this gets really cool is adding, can you guess? Your iPhone 2. If you saw my recent video on Stream Deck, you'll remember the range of productivity use cases that you can make from it. Now, what's got me super happy is that by using Stream Deck Mobile on the go, I have all the same functionality when away from my desk. So for managing Zoom calls, editing in Final Cut Pro, multi-action setups for repeat actions, all through these macro pad buttons, I have a fully fledged desktop functionality across three devices that I'm carrying with me. You can watch my recent Stream Deck video in the description below. And on that note, if you like these systems and are new here, make sure to check out my Notion life management videos and templates for more tools to get organized.
accessories. To really spec my system out into a truly minimal and portable desk setup, there are a couple of great peripherals that I've been using that I think you should know about. First up, the best mouse for Mac I found for both travel and desktop use is by Microsoft. Look at this. This is the Microsoft Arc 2, and one of my favorite finds of the last year, not sponsored, I bought this a few years ago to use with my iPad, and it has held its own against my desktop mouse. First off, the battery has never died. I checked it earlier, it was at 65%, and I've been using it for like a year and a half. I don't understand it, it's amazing. What's really cool about this is it's turned on by bending it like that and flattening it so that you can slip it away in your carry case and barely notice it's there. The shape when it's on, I think is somewhere between the finger control of an Apple Magic Mouse and the more ergonomically shaped mice you can get out there. My hand sits nicely on it and the best feature, the single button surface offers right, left click options along with swipe features, up, down, left and right. It's not got all the function of something like the Apple Magic Mouse, but I, I can swipe left and right to scroll across Final Cut Pro timelines and pages on my iPad. Pretty good. The next thing is some external storage. So I love these SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD drives. I've got them in one and two terabytes. They are super small and offer crazy fast read and write speeds plugged into the Thunderbolt 3 port on your MacBook so that I can edit and work directly off it. It keeps your hard drive clear, better performance. And I have one of these hidden in my desktop monitor. Yeah, literally in it and another to travel with. Again, a similar minimal size to that mouse to keep things nice and tidy. For sound, to keep things minimal, I picked up these Huawei noise-canceling earbuds. I think I'm saying that right. Great functionality, connect to multiple devices all at once and at a lower price point than those Apple alternatives. That said, if I'm editing on the go, I love bringing these Sony noise-canceling numbers, these over-ear ones, WH-1000X M3s, I, you can get M4s now. Uh, still the best I've found for a balance of comfort, using for traveling, Bluetooth functionality, and sound quality if you don't want to carry proper studio headphones with you. These simple felt cases are from Etsy, and they're super low profile and pleasing to keep things protected, and I'm really enjoying this super affordable folding iPad stand. Uh, to line it up alongside the laptop. I've got a load more um, good iPad stands that I've discovered recently that work well for this kind of setup in the description below as well. Now, if you want to really push it, you could add one of these, but maybe that's for a future video. One. Next, if you want to go a little further with finding your perfect MacBook desktop setup, this is the video to watch next. And if you want to supercharge your work from home productivity, you should watch this one next. It would be amazing if you left some comments. Awesome if you subscribe while you're here, because, well, why not? See you on the next one. Bye.